Hello everyone, welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to download Microsoft Team clients and deploy using Configuration Manager or SCCM. So, so please subscribe to my channel. Um, my channel will cover anything related to Configuration Manager, Azure, and Office 365. So now let's get started. First thing we're going to need to do is download Microsoft Teams client. And I have these two links right here. The teams.microsoft.com slash download. This is the, um, the link to EXE versions. And the aka.ms slash teams. Uh, 64 bit MSI. This is to the uh, MSI version of uh, Microsoft Team clients. So now let's download the, the EXE versions. Let's go to Teams, slash download. The, I'm going to download the X64 versions. And the MSI version is aka.ms slash Teams 64-bit MSI. I'm just going to copy and paste. So it's downloading here. It's going to take 10 minutes. Well, I got some slow network here. Okay, let's go um, to my network share. As you can see here, I created a folder um, called Microsoft Team Clients. I'm going to create another one. This one called the EXE. And then the MSI. X64 and EXE X64. So, um, right now, if I go to Teams Web. This is the web client for Teams. I like to use the um, the desktop versions. It seems to work better. Also, if you in the desktop version here, you can get client by getting click on the get app here, or you can download it from the store. If I click get app, where well, let's see where it's going to take me. Let's try again. I guess the um, exe has been downloaded. Just going to show folder. Oops, it downloaded a bunch of them because when I click on get apps, it start downloading the exe. I'm just going to cancel this out. So, cancel this one out. And cancel this one. So EXE has been downloaded. Let's go to show folder. I'm going to move it. Just going to cut. And then put it under Teams EXE. Mm -hmm. 
now let's create a package we're going to copy this link and go into my configuration manager console go to software library come on it's kind of slow here All right, let's go to application and then packages. Let's create a new package. I'm going to call this Microsoft Team Client X64 Package Location. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to paste it here. Click next. I'm going to create a standard programs. Call this install Teams client. Browse to the exe. The, um, the silent command line switch is should be dash s this normal program can run whether the user not log on run with administrator rights click next it checks windows x64 only leave estimate this space I'm gonna put 100 meg maximum a lot of time to run I'm gonna put 60 sec minutes <coughs> click next and click next package has created and I'm going to distribute it to the distribution point next distribution point next and next now I can deploy it Choose workstations only. This is the collection I want to deploy to. It's fine. I'm going to put it in the required. Mandatory. I'm going to choose a week from now, which is the 11th. Click OK. Rerun if fail. That's fine. Click next. That's fine. Click next. Download content. That's fine. Download content here. Allow client to use distribution point from default site boundaries. That's fine. Next. Click next. That's finished. So the exe is completed. Now let's look at the MSI versions. Look like MSI has been downloaded as well. I'm going to copy that or move it to my network share folder, which is under MSI. I'm going to paste that here. When creating MSI package in configuration manager, it's very simple. You go into applications, right click and create application. You're going to browse it to the MSI. Click on that. Click next. OK, 
Okay, let's finish. I'm going to call this Microsoft Teams Client MSI version. Command line here, that's fine. I'm going to click install for users. I'm going to change it to install for system. Click next and click next. Okay, let's finish, close, it's created, now I'm going to distribute it to the DP, choose the DP, click OK, next, and next. So the MSI version package is created and to deploy it, all you got to do is right click and go to deploy. That's it. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you for watching my video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Once again, my channel will cover Configuration Manager, Azure and Office 365. Have a good day.